Hey Geeks, it's your boy Zinio and today I have the iPad Mini 2021 and we're going to test some games on it and I know the iPad 9 video, you know, Genshin wasn't on 60fps, PUBG wasn't on the highest settings. I'll address that in a bit. So this iPad Mini, it runs an A15 chip and you can expect a lot of power coming from this small package. So we're going to run a couple of games on it. We're going to run Genshin, COD Mobile, PUBG and two new ones on Apple Arcade, Castlevania and Lego Star Wars Battles. So before we get into that, you know, here's the iPad 9 stuff first. Right, it's there, the iPad 9. If you can see, it's right there. Yeah, iPad 9 generation, you see that? So yes, no BS. There it is. All right, so Genshin Impact, everything is on the highest, 60 FPS. So let's try it out. So Genshin Impact on the iPad 9, you can definitely play it. Okay, so graphic settings for PUBG on the iPad 9, Ultra HD, Ultra Frame Rate, I like this one, Anti-Aliasing at 4, Shadows Enabled, you know, everything looks great. Lobby, Ultra HD, Ultra Frame Rate, same thing. 4 times, Shadows Enabled, Quick Match. Alright, so getting to the lobby, you know, no frame rate drops, nothing. Graphics look fine. The sun is nicely reflecting off the leather jacket. Shadows are great, nothing much to complain about. And the models look all right. Everything looks great, no frame drops whatsoever. All right, so PUBG works fine on the iPad 9. Now that that's settled, let's get straight into the iPad mini. So for all you skeptics out there, you know, this is definitely the iPad mini 2021. Hands are here and you know, nothing's being photoshopped or anything. It's the real deal. So the first game we're going to play is Genshin Impact and learning from the last video, we're going to set everything to the highest. So let's do that and also 60 FPS. So it's on the highest, you know, everything is on. High, 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 high. FPS is 60, right? Everything's there. You all happy now? Okay, great. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna get into a fight and we're already in a fight. Oh, close one. Oh, totally forgot about that move. Oh yes. Let's hit him again. Come on. Let's just take this guy down. Cool, okay. So the responsiveness of the screen for the iPad mini, it's about the same thing as the iPad 9, it's really good. So like, I don't think you have an issue with all the games you're going to play today. And in terms of performance, you know, the iPad mini is holding up pretty well, not gonna lie. The iPad mini can pretty much handle Genshin at its highest, so like, there's no issues here at all. Okay, so we're at the loading screen right now, Ghost looks great, as always. And let's go to graphics real quick, graphics, and let's go for a, uh, let's go for the very high, and let's see that. And of course you can't run the graphic quality setting and frame rate at the highest at the same time. You know, as you can see down here, so I'm gonna go with very high of graphic quality and let's just see how the frame rate holds up then. Alright, so hopping into a game, you know, everything looks great so far. Screen is responsive as always, you know, details on the scope are magnificent. So yeah, everything looks fine, you know. No frame rate drops or anything so far. So let's just see how it holds up in an actual game. But yeah, of course, playing an NFPS on the iPad mini, it's a lot more manageable than the iPad 9, so this is great so far, I'm expecting some good results from this thing. Let's go, oh! 
Nice. But yeah, so playing the game so far, you know, everything is pretty smooth. I don't see any frame rate drops so far. And I'm not expecting any frame rate drops from this thing, so I think we should be good for the entire game. One, two, three. Oh my god, they're actually good in this game. Oh my god, okay, someone actually had a nuke. Oh, and the game ended before it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, final thoughts on COD Mobile and the iPad Mini? You know, it works. You don't need to worry about anything. This video is brought to you by Logitech. Here at Geek Culture, gaming is a way of life, and we always enjoy dishing out headshots with the Logitech G Pro X Super Light Mouse. The lightweight wireless mouse combines excellent performance with a classy, no frills look. Designed with pros and engineered to win, it offers crisp and responsive clicks. The smooth operator even allows you to swap out the magnetic dongle storage compartment for greater gliding ease. Check out all of its other features over at logitechg.com. Right, so of course we have to have PUBG in this video. So settings, and then graphics, and Ultra HD, Ultra Frame Rate, and Movie, Water Reflections Enabled, Anti-Aliasing is at 4, and okay. Let's just jump into a match. Okay, approaching result. Dip. Yep. Oh, the people. Hold on. Can't see where they are. Let me just let's just go down. Okay. But so far no frame rate and everything looks fine. I think our friend is getting oh never mind, our friend killed the guy. It's all good. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, let's just jump into FPS mode real quick. Um, weapon models look like... Weapon models. Weapon models look great. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got people. Great. Oh, I see them. God damn it. Come on friend, help me out friend. Never mind. Wow. Well I suck to do. So in spite of my lackluster performance over two games, PUBG works fine on the iPad mini. Okay, so we have Mobile Legends queued up and let's just go straight to the settings. Yep, graphics on Ultra. Still hidden by the downloading resources widget here, but you know, that's fine. So let's see what we can do with this iPad mini with Mobile Legends. But yeah, attack animations are smooth, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. Let's get this guy real quick and we got him. Oh, he almost got me there. Almost. Oh, I think he's lagging. Hold on. Got him again. Dude, that's not learn his lesson. Oh, let's just get this guy. Let him overextend again. Of course he will. Man, this dude. Get help. My god. This is literally cyberbullying. <laughs> oh my lord, dude, come on. I Brother, relax. Get this fellow, get this fellow. You guys are getting trashed by Nana. Jesus Christ. 
coming out, you know, 14 and 3 assists with Nana of all characters. I can just say the iPad Mini, you know, it being super comfortable to play on will help you win more games. I can guarantee that. So we're playing a new game on Apple Arcade. It's not really a new game, you know, it's, it's Castlevania with a boy Alucard. So let's just get right into it. Oh yes, my boy Alucard. If you guys haven't watched the Netflix series, please do, it's super good. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, oh, hold on. Cool. Very nice. Oh, okay, we've hit the first level. Amazing. Castlevania works fine on the thing, it's super smooth and like they did a really good job with the touch controls. So yeah, you can play this thing. Moving on to the next game. Yeah, so we have Lego Star Wars Battles up on the screen and it's in portrait mode, which is fine. So let's just try it out. Roger, roger. Nice. Roger, All right. roger. Oh my lord. Let's just send an ATAT this way. I wonder if we can win the game. And yeah, we won the game. Pretty quick battles, you know. Enjoyable. Kind of fun. Everything looks smooth. It's good. This thing is super comfortable to play on. It's really compact, it's small, you can bring anywhere with you. It's not as bulky as the iPad 9, and that A15 chip on the inside, you know, it's, it's gonna do you a lot of favors. So whether you're playing Genshin, PUBG, or Mobile Legends, or the other games we mentioned, you guys are definitely gonna have fun with this thing. Also, we are using the 256 gigabyte model. I would say this device is pretty good for mobile game streamers, I know you guys are out there, especially since you mobile game streamers out there stream for hours on end, this iPad is super comfortable to hold and look at while you game. So combining the A15 chip and 256 gigabytes worth of space, you're gonna have a lot of gaming and you're gonna have a lot of clips. Gaming on the iPad mini is a definite yes. Anyway guys, if you have any questions about the iPad mini, please leave them in the comments down below. We will do our best to answer them. And let us know if you are going to get one for yourselves. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't. That helps us out a lot. This is your boy Zinio and I'll see you guys in the next one.